Okay. Do not go cook more food. Do not. Don't do it. She's doing it. Oh my god. I, I quit. <laughs> and welcome to the very first part of The Sims 4 Rags to Riches. I have wanted to do this for so freaking long. I say it all the time. I love these series or challenges or whatever where you start as like a homeless person and work your way up. It's like my favorite thing to do in The Sims. I don't know why, but um, that's what we're going to be doing. So this is my Sim. Her name is Carmen Zavala. She did not have a very good relationship with her family to begin with but then lost them all in a tragic, horrible accident. A Sims player was feeling very evil that day and decided to kill them all by trapping them in small swimming pools with walls around them. Anyways, if you don't know what the Rags to Riches challenge is, basically, yeah, we start with zero dollars and we can't have a job and we can't get married to someone who has money. We can basically just collect things and fish and uh do the other things that you can do to make money all without you know an actual job uh and then i know there's a couple other like like little tiny rules like i know we can't use the grills to eat unless we have one or until we have one of our own uh, what else i think it's pretty self-explanatory a capsule the very first thing we got was a freaking capsule I'm so done, dude. I'm so done. I'm gonna have her go learn how to fish. What I wanna do, instead of trying to like, eat off of the grills and like hope that people cook things and I can just pick it up, which we might have to do because I mean, she's gonna be hungry. But what I'm trying to do instead is get enough money for like a campfire and have her roast fish for food because that to me sounds way cooler and way more fun and challenging than just picking up food off of a grill that someone didn't want, okay? Also, I'm playing on a save file I got off of Tumblr. <laughs> uh, holy crap. That was the biggest fish I've ever seen. Is she gifted? It was a tuna. Holy crap. Okay, well, we're gonna sell the time capsule without opening it. Seventy dollars. Uh, I- hold on. How much does the actual campfire cost? Because that, to me, seems like the best thing to get so my girl can eat, at least. That seems like a really important thing 450 simoleons. Okay. Well, then we're gonna sell the tuna. Because clearly we need the money. While we're here, I might as well go ahead and show you her traits and everything while she's just fishing away. Her traits. I wanted to do something that did not help us at all. She is a difficult person to be around. Let's, uh, let's not sugarcoat it. But she's a slob, she's jealous, and she is hot-headed. We have quite the sim here, my dudes. Quite the sim indeed. You caught nothing. Yeah. You caught nothing. And then her aspiration for the challenge has to be fabulously wealthy. Unfortunately, this one is already uh, checked off, which we obviously don't have 10,000 in reserve, but she had to have some money to buy the lot. So when I bought it, it just checked that off Ooh. automatically. And yeah, yeah, yeah. On the gallery, her aspiration will be different because uh, I was gonna, I changed it once I got here, but I kind of messed it up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I done goofed and, and I messed it up. And this still was checked. It, it's all in the rules, okay? Oh, but like, really? I messed it up because I can't follow simple directions. So my bad. Oh yes, we got something. Hallelujah. Okay, we won't do this forever because this is not super exciting, but I, uh, I just want enough. Well, we're not gonna, let's face it. We're not going to be getting 450, actually, no, we might, we might. I know I want to do some, uh, so, what, what is it called? What is that called? Oh my god, it's gonna drive me insane when you have, like, a violin or a guitar and you're out there, like, playing for tips. But anyways, I feel like that would be a really cool way to earn some money. Like, that's, oh, y'all, no, 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 we're not gonna have a welcome wagon. Yeah, you're not wanted here. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but I feel like that's truly living the hobo life, okay? But what I want to do, the reason I was really excited for this challenge was because I, and here's my goal, okay? I don't want to get a house off of the gallery at all. I want the house to be built entirely from me and to do everything myself, all the improvements, decorating, oh. Everything. I want it to be from these funds and me. I don't want to be getting anything off the gallery this time because I, I do like to do that because I am lazy. It's true. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do um, do it a little differently this time. That way we, we can't just get new houses all the time. We can just renovate the one we have. Okay, so 
Um, let me see over here. So eventually people will cook and stuff and we can steal. Uh, you know, you can steal food if they leave it on the table. Like there's no rule against that. We just can't use the grills. Um, and I know that, I mean, another way to eat is to just harvest plants. But I know that most of the plants, oh look, I, never mind, I spoke too soon. I was gonna say most of the plants aren't ready to be harvested yet, but there's some mushrooms over there. So we'll go grab them, my little hobo girl. Now her outfits I would normally show you in the beginning because that's like my favorite thing to do. But let me tell you, it's not super exciting. This is what her everyday wear is. I, I wanted to give her like hobo-esque clothing, but like at the same time, I don't have any like anything like that. Cause like, why would I download that? But like, this is what I came up with. Now these jeans, now I was going for hobo, like ripped up, like, oh, they're so, you know, messed up and broken, whatever. But like, this is a trend. All of my jeans have holes on them. I don't have a single pair of jeans without holes. So like, just use your imagination <laughs> and then just a normal t-shirt. And then this was a family heirloom that she got from her family. It's the last thing she has remaining of her family. Uh, but yeah, and oh, and I love her curls. I'm living. She has no makeup on, nothing fancy, flippy floppies. That's about it. So let's go get these mushrooms. That is gonna be, actually, do I want her eating raw mushrooms she finds from the ground? Is she going to start seeing things? I don't know. <laughs> I actually do not know. Hey, look, people already left food here. Oh, and an iPad. <laughs> Can you imagine if we just jacked that? That would be, ter that'd be terrible, oh my God. Like what an awful thing to actually steal. But she's, hold on, hold on. She's not even hungry. You know what? Don't, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this. When does it go bad? Oh, we can't put it in our inventory? No, can we pack it into a sack lunch and take it? Can I take this? Yes, a loophole. That's what I'm freaking talking about. And now we have a sack lunch for later. Amazing. So we can go plant these mushrooms. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else we can do in here. I know we can rummage through the garbage uh, once people have used the garbage cans, which they haven't yet, uh, but we'd definitely be doing all of the hobo-y things. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting to tell you. There's a mailbox on our lot. I mean, this, it, it can't be deleted. So just bear with me. Oh my God, she stole the iPad. Oh my God, she stole it. <laughs> okay, this is not, this is not correct. You would not be doing this if you were a hobo. You would get arrested or so, probably actually, yeah, you'd probably get arrested for theft. I didn't make her a kleptomaniac for that exact reason. I mean, some, some homeless people might steal, but that's, we're not going for that. We're not advocating for thieves. So let's see, we, a tiger frog. I haven't done this in so long. I know we can breed them, but like, is it worth it? Is it really that much money? I don't know. Where are there even other frogs? All the houses in this neighborhood, by the way, are all custom, not those, those are, that's scenery. All of these are all custom built in the save file. They're all really, really, really cute. Um. And I'll actually, I think the worlds have different names. So let's do a little exploring. The worlds have different names in this save file. I don't even know how they did that, by the way. I didn't know you could do that. So this world seat's all custom, very cute. Uh, the name of it is Blythe Harbor. So Oasis Springs has not been touched. And then you have New Lynn Hills, which was Newcrest, and then Lynnport. And I believe, yeah, just these three right here are the only ones that have changed. But they're pretty awesome. I mean, the whole thing has changed, so it looks pretty cool. There's a, a lot of things we can do. And then this is obviously just shopping. Uh, or actually, no, it's mostly restaurants. So there you go. We should head to the park though, because this park looks freaking sweet. Do you see this giant like treehouse thing? I gotta see it with my eyeballs. I gotta see. The creativity is astounding. Could I ever do something like that? Probably not. <laughs> but I am so excited for this, you guys. I've been tweeting about, oh, I was trying to like drop subtle hints on Twitter. Are you kidding me? This is so nice. What the, are you, oh, oh my God. That is amazing. Wow. Where's the tree house? Where's the tree house? Oh my God. This is so cool. Dude, I know where we're sleeping tonight. We're sleeping right here. You think I'm joking, but like, I'm literally not. I'm like, actually not. Oh, and she's gonna go swim. Girl, 
Can I tell you, like, just can we get off track for a second? Okay. I have been itching to swim so freaking bad. I didn't realize like how much I loved swimming until the other day when I went swimming for the first time in years. And now that I'm like buying a house, my yard is not big by any means. It is pretty freaking tiny. And the like, the, the neighborhood has such strict rules on every little thing that you do. And so I'm like, trying to find a way to get a pool back there guys i'm trying my best because i really want to swim even if it's a tiny pool i don't freaking care i just want to swim but anyways why are you swimming is the real question she wants to catch a fish wonderful what is this buy a dryer of all the things you need a dryer is not one of them <laughs> that's just well maybe right now since you just decided to jump into a uh a pool is this a picnic setup oh my god we could come over here and eat her little lunch can you imagine if she just sat on the ground she'd probably sit here <gasps> no we cannot grab drinks from this that seems bad <laughs> it seems like something we probably shouldn't do what is this is this supposed to be a shop why am i more interested in this lot than i am the entire challenge Oh, see, look at this. They're like leaving stuff on the grills. You guys are crazy. But anyways, we need money. So let's um, let's do a little bit of exploring. The apples have not come in yet. What about you? Strawberries, no. Oh, here we go, here we go. And some more frogs. There you go. Oh, is she talking to people? Hey, she met some people. That's cool. I mean, we can't, there's no rule against having friends. We can't get in a relationship until we have a roof over our head. Like, I think a romantic relationship. I mean, I think, I think that's it. Honestly, I can't remember. The rules are very vague. It's not like super, super strict. So it's just kind of, it's just common sense. We're just going to be as realistic as humanly possible as much as we can in The Sims, which is not always, not always possible, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll get there. I, okay. I thought she found another capsule and I almost exploded. Um, I, I hate them. I hate them. Prehistoric rock. How much are you worth? 15? <sighs> okay, a leaf frog. Now, now, okay. I don't, is this worth it if we breed them? Oh, I guess so, because we get another one. Oh, I'm such a big dummy. But we can't breed any of these. Nope, no incest for the frogs today. Thank God. Let's sell it. Sell it. Sell it. How much money we got now? 300, okay, 301. We're very close to getting our campfire. Okay. So that's actually not that bad. That did not take that long, which is great. Now, I know that um, I've I've been watching, well, not like all the way through, but I went and watched a little bit of um, The Sim Supplies, Rags to Riches Extreme, and it looks so fun, but it would take so long because you can't like, uh, you can't sell anything to like through your inventory. So you can't sell to like invisible people. You can only sell to real people or like get tips from them or like, it's like really challenging. I think it's kind of cool. Personally, I think it's kind of cool. But what the, what is she doing? Lady, have you lost your mind? <laughs> have you lost your mind? But uh, I think it sounds super fun, but yeah, for it would take like an eternity, I think. And so I'm looking for something a little more short term. I don't know how long this series will last, but probably a while I would assume. But I know we can go to like the flea market and sell some stuff, which would be really cool. Um, but yeah, okay, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. What else can we sell? We gotta find just a few more teeny tiny. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> How beautiful is that scene right there? I'm gonna take a picture. I know it has nothing to do with anything, okay? But like, let me live, all right? It was beautiful. You gotta stop and take pictures of the scenery every once in a while, okay? Because sometimes it's just really nice. For someone like me who doesn't go outside, it's pretty nice. What's this? Oh, another apple tree. Can we fish around here? Did I just pass the spot? I feel like I passed the spot. Maybe not. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll keep searching. She's over there cracking jokes. I don't even know what she's doing, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna let her do her thing. And, oh, there's some more. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Here's another fishing spot. There's like a, a f oh, and more frogs. Sweet. The sun is starting to go down on her first day. How far away did we go? We we're speeding this up. No way, Jose. But yeah, I... I'm so excited. We're gonna go sleep in that freaking tree house because it's so cool. <laughs> Actually, like not a bad place to sleep, if I'm honest. 
Like you have a roof over your head. I mean, it's not completely closed in, but like, you know, it's better than nothing. And she's already level two of the fishing skill. My girl, yes. And I wanted her to be a slob because, well, for one, I cannot remember the last time I had a sim that was a slob. And two, uh, I just think it would make it so stupidly difficult trying to keep the plant. We just caught a cow plant. Shut your mouth. Oh my God. We're planning that when we get back. I know it's not going to help us make money, but it can be our friend. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a big yike right there. That's a big yike. Uh, that would, can you imagine? Can you actually imagine? That would happen to me. We just caught a dragon fruit? Dude, this is so cool. I didn't realize fishing was so cool. I forgot about cow plants if I'm being completely honest with you. I haven't played with them in a while, but I actually think they're so cool. I don't know. There's just something about them. I know they don't do much, but like they're cool. They're cool to me. They're just different. Uh, okay. We're going to stop fishing for now and we're going to go get these froggies. Uh oh, she has to go to the restroom. Not good. You're, you're fine. Just hold it. We can find a bush. Actually, we're at a park. Can't you just find a restroom? Uh oh. Is there no restroom? Girl, I will I will save you. Uh, come back over here. There's a restroom over there. You gotta you gotta just walk walk fast. Don't think about it. Don't think about waterfalls or pouring rain or pouring a drink. Oh, we can rummage. Yes. Oh shoot. No wait. Don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Go use the restroom. There we go. Perfect. These are really nice restrooms. Oh what the? Why did you just crop dust this lady? <laughs> I think my girl needs to go number two, actually. I think it's a little bit more of that than it is of a little waterfall, if you know what I mean. Anyways, let's not talk about it. I feel like I can smell it from here. She's not even gonna flush. Go flush the toilet, you Neanderthal. <laughs> uh, and her hygiene, oh, there's a shower here too. You know what, we might as well go ahead and take a shower. Oh great, someone walked in on us. We can't have one minute of privacy here. Oh Lord, hey, she's hungry. I wonder if we can eat our thing yet. Oh no, it's spoiled! No! Let's rummage through the garbage can. Are we just gonna pick up the same thing we just got? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, we're being judged! No! We're being judged! What are you mopping? We got a blarfy? Like the like the big bear doll thing. Oh, I'm not home. I can't get it. That is really, really weird. She's gonna go chat with someone. But girl, you're like starving. Did anyone cook anything? Oh, he's cooking. Oh my. I gotta pause for a second. Who had a freaking feast? Who had a feast? This is so much wasted food. What is this? Who is responsible for cooking this much food and not eating it? I am shocked and appalled. Okay, got, got, like, y'all are making it too easy. That's crazy. And they're still okay. cooking. That's what makes me so mad. She's like, oh God. Oh God, I can't tell what emotion she's feeling if I'm being completely honest. It looks like she hates the hamburger. It looks like she hates it. Okay, do not go cook more food. Do not, don't do it. She's doing it. Oh my God, I, I quit. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the series. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, I told I told y'all, I told y'all. Girl needs some Pepto-Bismol. She's got the poops. She's got the poopsies, uh, but I don't, I don't understand why. Why do you need the Pepto-Bismol? And why are they cooking so much food? It's actually making me really, really mad that they're making that much food. It's just, it's like too much. Oh, oh no. And then we're going to go sleep in the treehouse. Hopefully no kids come in and see us. They're going to get... Oh no, there's a guy up here playing with clay. Get out of here, dude. He's in my spot. If we go up there and tell him to move, will he move? Oh, wonderful. Oh, and he made a beautiful teapot. I shouldn't have judged. I shouldn't have judged. All right, good night. Tomorrow. And look who's up in the morning cleaning up. Oh my God. This is so bad. There's so much food. She woke up and was like, see, even she couldn't stand the fact that they wasted all this. She was like, I have to go pick that all up. Why did he just move? I swear to God, he moved. I swear he moved. I'm not crazy. I swear he did. Um, no. No! Oh my god, she's so freaking gassy! She's gotta be the most gassy person! <laughs> and now she's rummaging again. Last time we found something good. 
What'd you find this time? Oh, a whole lot of nothing. Well, if people keep cooking at this rate, we will never go hungry. But this is like insane. The amount of food that they cooked and just left out here was kind of stupid. Like it actually kind of made me mad. So after she's finished with this, we're gonna go back to our home lot. Maybe I should let her use the restroom one more time before we go, just in case. I feel bad because like her sleep is so bad because obviously she's sleeping on a bench. There's like, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So I'm gonna let her relieve herself before we go. I'm just gonna have her use the restroom and take a quick shower. That way she doesn't have to later. And we're gonna go home and see if we can afford that that uh what the fire pit there you go and we can plant the things we got and plant our cow plant which i'm super excited i want to name him something really great it has to be wonderful uh but yeah we need to go home let's go now i was like please tell me she's putting on clothes my god okay we're gonna go home what do we have oh and the dragon fruit that's right and some boring old mushrooms but by the way, I just had dragon fruit for the first time the other day and it was like really weird. Like it looks so cool, but it didn't taste like anything really. It tasted like a watered down watermelon kind of, which that, <laughs> that makes no sense. But like it tasted like a less tasty watermelon, if that makes any sense. I don't, I don't know if what I'm saying is even registering, but let's see if we can find this again. Okay, it has to be the specific one. It can't be the bonfire. Oh no. Oh, 450? Wait, didn't we get a, oh, we got a Blarfy? Okay, so he's worth 75 Smolians and I know I kind of want to sell him, but at the same time, she's very lonely <laughs> and I kind of want to keep it. <laughs> okay, she rummaged in the garbage can for this. You know, I feel like she deserves it. Can we change the color of it? No, I like the pink one anyways, pink is cute. So let's see if we can find, or if Oh, what can we get real quick that we can sell? Like super quick. She can go fishing again, I guess. I guess you can go fishing real quick. Her skill is getting higher, so she should be able to fish a little bit quicker. And then we should sell like one fish and we should be good. You know, I say that and then she catches the cheapest fish alive and we still aren't there yet. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. 31 simoleons. There we go. She's done it. It's time for us to get a, not the bonfire, a, the campfire. There you go. Where is it at? Where's the... Here we go, here we go, rocks of fire. Let's do it, let's go put it down. I'm so excited. Right next to our Blarfy, <laughs> which I think we should name them also. Um, okay, there we go. Aww. So we're gonna put Blarfy over here like, like he's like, you know, hanging out at the, fi at the fire. Hopefully he's not flammable when we light this. Hopefully he doesn't burst in flames. That would be terrible. <laughs> and then we can make a little, oh yeah, where are we gonna put our cow plant? <gasps> we have so many options. Um, oh, should I, wait, do you put him in a planner? Do I need to put him in a little planner? I, I guess you don't have to. Let's see, I, I mean, obviously, it really doesn't matter where we put him <laughs> if we're being completely honest with ourselves. Let's move it closer to like, the front. I think we can move them though once once he's uh, planted. I think we can still move them. Uh oh, she's all tired. Poor thing. And then we'll put the dragon fruit. Oh no. Okay, I guess we're putting the dragon fruit there. <laughs> and then we'll put some mushrooms right next to it. And voila. There you go. I kind of just want to sell the rest of these. Oh, they were worth nothing. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, what are those? I cannot wait for the cow plant. I can't wait. Is she gonna go light it? <gasps> oh my god. No. Y'all thought my girl was about to burn alive. There we go. Now we can roast. Oh, hot dogs, marshmallows. Okay, we won't do that. We won't do any of that. We'll um we'll just do fish because that's all we have. But for now, I think I am going to wrap up this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of The Sims 4 Rags to Riches. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. Leave some name suggestions for our little Blarfy doll that we have right now. Get really creative. Don't forget to click the bell on my channel to receive notifications when I upload and to become part of the early squad. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you all next time. Bye.